Hello everyone, welcome to the Chaos Rift with Star Citizen 2.0. The uh, it's version K December 11th build, which is a Friday. They have been patching the shit out of this game. No pun intended. It's absolutely more stable. It is um, the frame rate has been optimized. I mean They've done a lot of work on this game to make it phenomenal. So what we're going to do is we are going to do a mini quest. We're going to go all the way to Com Relay. And in doing so, it'll just show a bunch of the little functionality of the game off. Nothing major. Now, granted, there are still bugs that are slightly pain in the asses, but rest assured that the Star Citizen team is working 24 hours a day, seven days a week to fix this, to make this game awesome for you and I. So I chose my Hornet because I love it. It's an absolutely sexy freaking ship. And the military grade hardware on it is pretty freaking sweet too. It's like I get into any other ship and I'm completely lost with the HUD because I'm like, I don't know. Anvil Aerospace, all systems online. Thank you. All right, now one of the bugs is that when I strafe up and landing gear goes off. Bogey, landing gear, raised, autopilot, disengaged. No, it's not doing it this time. Which is good. Usually the ship like lunges forward on me. Today didn't do it, which is great. So we switch our mode from precision mode when we take off to um, flight mode or combat flight mode. Um, and that allows basically a much faster and maneuverable ship. Comms tab is off on by default. You can turn it on like that. That allows less drift on your turns. If you're going into some high maneuverability and you don't want to drift through, Boogie, you can kind of do scanning. this. And whoops, see, I was compensating for the drift that comes through. It's um, pretty strong. So turn off it up, turn it up, and come through. That's a little red out. Boogie. Now we got a little more drift. I can float through better and not hit stuff. Because that's how I fly. I, I'm compensating for that little drift stuff. So I start my turn here versus like starting. Let's turn Bogey. it back on. Scanning. Bogey. There we go. So when you have comp stab on, Bogey. you can start your turn later and go up. And you're there. Anyways, I'm rambling on about comp stab. It's a nice little feature. Uh, especially for new pilots. Let's go. Let's get our asses going. Oops. Obstructed. Quantum travel initiated. Yay. Now, the little, the ball, the 3D map hologram thing whatever I don't like it right now it's very hard to target and follow your targets I'm more of like that 3d map thing with the little lines and everything I mean they've used that since x-wing games wing commander I, I applaud Roberts for trying something new but in my experience it's not working I am an old-fashioned pilot And my frame rates have dropped about 11 frames, 3 to 11. This is this is a typical thing right now with this build. I mean, it, they'll fix it. Boogie, scanning. Now, where is it? Ah, see? That little arrow that floats around your screen is really difficult to kind of follow. Now, I like to lock my gimbaled weapons because right now in this current build, gimbling is a pain in the ass. I expect it to at least track the target a little bit where 
they have it kind of it's manual. Now that's great if I have a gunner, but I don't. I have me. That's it. Me in a two-person ship. I know, right? So I want the computer to do shit for me. Now why am I shooting all over the place? There we go. Alright, so to reboot the array, you need to find the entry port, which is right here between the two solar arrays. Shields so full. I'm going to enter precision mode, which makes the ship's handling much, much more pleasant and precise precision. And I'm going to get a little close. And I'm stopping. Okay. Looks clear. Thank you. Alright, I'm going to leave the ship, which, depending on your binding, it could be Control F, it could be whatever. I have it mapped to a keyboard button. Um, you have to leave your ship. Do not eject. Eject will um, lose your canopy cover and your HUD and all the important stuff that you rely on. Now, I'm in Z zero G EVAing. There's my ship. Bye! I love you. Oops. Ow! Pfft. Don't hit your head. You'll have to EVA down to get to the array control panel. And this guy is a useless pain in the ass. He just talks a bunch of shit and never actually helps you. He's, you know, he he could be like, hey, you know, you gotta reboot the array by going into the satellite dish next to the solar panel. But no, he's just like, hey. What's taking so long? Whoops. And zero G is a pain in the ass. You gonna bring your way back online or not? You gonna shut up or not? Okay. Thank you. Establishing connection. All right. Operate function restored. He's one of those armchair assholes who just kind of sits around in a comfy little office and just kind of tells you what to do. Well, now that you know how it's done, if you come across any more downed arrays, go ahead and reset them. Only if it's safe, though. You know what you're tangling with outlaws. Yeah, 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 yeah. Only if it's safe. Who cares about safety? I'm in a frickin' hornet. Which is absolutely beautiful. Whoops. Ah. Q and E... Um, rotate you. It's kind of like your roll. You know, the WASD stuff moves you forward, backwards, up, down. Warning. Systems overheating. Bogey. Scanning. Oh. I got in the wrong cockpit. cockpit. And... Or wrong entrance. It happens. I'm in the... You know, I'm in the gunner seat. But I don't want to do that. There we go. I think. Am I in the right seat? We'll find out soon enough. There we go. Shields charging. All right. Now there's other fun things in this, oops, in this neighborhood. 
is Cryastro, which we're going to go there next, and we will end it here. Um, there's security post Karia. I haven't been there yet. Let's check it out. Quantum travel initiated. Boogie, scan. Good. Hi. Quantum travel complete. Ooh. That's pretty. Okay, I'm in precision mode still. So, boom. I'm gonna turn comstab back on. I'm gonna turn G safe off. <laughs> 